In this lesson on trig equations, we're going to have a look at equations in the form a sin x equal to b cos x. For our second type of equation that needs a bit of manipulation, we will have the form a sin theta equal to b cos theta. So here we also, like in type 1, have two terms and both of them have a trig function in them. But the difference is here we cannot factorize, so we'll have to make a new plan. In example 1, we need to determine the general solution. And as mentioned, here we have two terms with sin and cos, two trig functions, but this cannot be factorized. However, we have identities we can use. We know that sin theta divided by cos theta is tan theta, and we're going to make use of this in type 2. Remember that our whole aim is to get one trig function equal to a constant ratio, and therefore here we need to try and combine sin theta and cos theta to become tan theta. That we're going to do by dividing both sides of the equation by cos. So on the left, sine theta divided by cos theta is our identity, tan theta, and cos theta divided by itself on the right hand side is equal to 1. And now we've managed to rewrite this where we have our standard form of trig function and angle equal to a constant. So we can immediately go and get our reference angle. Next up, we are going to divide up into the quadrants where tan is positive. So that's the first and the third quadrant. Next up, we can go and add our reduction formulas. For our first quadrant, there's no reduction formula needed. So it's simply 45 degrees plus the usual k times 360. And our third quadrant, the reduction formula is 180 degrees plus the reference angle of 45. And now we need to go and simplify our third quadrant. And here we then have two parts for our general solution. Example 2. Determine the general solution of 3 sin theta plus 4 cos theta equal to 0. So here, once again, we have two terms with two trig functions, but it cannot be factorized, so we are going to use type 2. That means we are going to take the 4 cos theta to the right and now we can divide both sides by cos theta. On the left I will be left with 3 tan theta because sin theta divided by cos theta is tan theta and on the right I will be left with only minus 4. Next I need to go and divide by 3 on the right hand side to ensure that I have my standard form. Then I can immediately go and get my reference angle break up into the quadrants where tan is negative, so that's the second and fourth quadrants, add my reduction formulas, and simplify. And again, we have two parts for our general solution. 